Alam mo ba na merong isang pare na nakapunta sa heaven, purgatory, and hell? Hello mga ka My name is Adrian Milag and welcome again to my vlog. At kung first time mo dito sa aking YouTube channel, make sure na mag-subscribe ka at click mo yung notification bell button sa baba ng video na to para lagi ka updated sa mga bagong vlog na gagawin ko. At sino nga ba tong pari na to na nakita niya daw yung uh, purgatory, heaven, and hell? Actually, itong pari na to ay... Naka-experience siya ng sudden death at dinala siya ng guardian angel niya sa heaven, purgatory, and hell. etong paring to ay si Father Jose Maniangat. He is currently uh, the pastor of the St. Catherine of Siena Catholic Church in Orange Park, Florida in USA. Alam nyo mga faith, very interesting ang naging uh, story ni Father Uh, maniangat at mamaya makikita natin uh, kung ano yung i-describe niya na, na, na nakita niya sa heaven, hell, and purgatory. Kung napanood nyo din yung vlog na ginawa ko na isang bata na nakapunta siya ng hell at nakita niya daw dun si Pope John Paul II. <laughs> Dito makikita nyo yung Uh, difference nilang dalawa magkaibang magkaiba na makikita mo dito na walang bias yung naging experience ni Father Maniangat unlike dun sa bata nalatang bias na bias yung naging testimony niya yun nga naniniwala tayo na si Pope John Paul II ay isang holy person a holy man kaya nga siya naging saint okay mga ka so ito yung naging experience ni Father Jose Maniangat sabi dito Ito yung pagkakasabi niya. I was born on July 16, 1949 in Kerala, India to my parents Joseph and Teresa Maniangat. I am the eldest of seven children. Jose, Mary, Teresa, Lizama, Zakaria, Balsa, and Tom. At the age of 14, I entered St. Mary's Minor Seminary in Tirubala to begin my studies for my priesthood. Four years later, I went to St. Joseph's Pontificar Major Seminary in Alway, Kerala to continue my priestly formation. After completing the seven years of philosophy and theology, I was ordained a priest on January 1, 1975. to serve as a missionary in the Diocese of Tirubalia. On Sunday, April 14, 1985, the Feast of the Divine Mercy, I was going to celebrate Mass at a mission church in the north part of Kerala, and I had a fatal accident. I was riding a motorcycle when I was hit head on by a jeep driven by a man who was intoxicated after a Hindu festival. I was rushed to a hospital about 33 miles away. On the way, my soul came out from my body and wow. I experienced death. Immediately, I met my guardian angel. I saw my body and the people who were carrying me to the hospital. I heard them crying and praying for me. At this time, my angel told me, I'm going to take you to heaven. The Lord wants to meet you and talk with you. He also said that on the way, he wanted to show me hell and purgatory. So ito na yung visitation niya sa hell. First, the angel escorted me to hell. It was an awful sight. I saw Satan and the devils, an unquenchable fire of about 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit, worms crawling, people screaming and fighting, others being tortured by demons. The angel told me that all these sufferings were due to unrepented mortal sins. Then I understood that these are seven degrees of suffering or levels according to the number and kinds of mortal sins 
committed in their earthly lives. The souls look very ugly, cruel, and horrific. It was fearful experience. I saw people whom I knew, but I am not allowed to reveal their identities. The sins that convicted them were mainly abortion, homosexuality, euthanasia, hatefulness, unforgiveness, and sacrilege. The angel told me that if they had repented, they would have avoided hell and gone instead to purgatory. I also understood that some people who repent from these sins might be purified on earth through their sufferings. This way, they can avoid purgatory and go straight to heaven. I was surprised when I saw in hell even priests and bishops, some of whom I never expected to see. Many of them were there because they had misled the people with false teaching and bad example. Next stop is purgatory. After the visit to hell, my guardian angel escorted me to purgatory. Here too, there are seven degrees of suffering and unquenchable fire, but it is far less intense than hell, and there was neither quarreling nor fighting. The main suffering of these souls is their separation from God. Some of those who are in purgatory committed numerous mortal sins, but they were reconciled with God before their death. Even though these souls are suffering, they enjoy peace and the knowledge that one day they will see God face to face. I had a chance to communicate with the souls in purgatory. They asked me to pray for them and to tell the people to pray for them as well so they can go to heaven quickly. When we pray for these souls, we will receive their gratitude through their prayers and once they enter heaven, their prayers become even more meritorious. It is difficult for me to describe how beautiful my guardian angel is. He is radiant and bright. He is my constant companion and helps me in all my ministries, especially my healing ministry. I experience his presence everywhere I go. And I am grateful for His protection in my daily life. Finally, heaven. My angel escorted me to heaven passing through a big dazzling white tunnel. I never experienced this much peace and joy in my life. Then immediately heaven opened up and I heard the most delightful music which I never heard before. The angels were singing and praising God. I saw all the saints, especially the Blessed Mother and Saint Joseph, and many dedicated holy bishops and priests who were shining like stars. And when I appeared before the Lord, Jesus told me, I want you to go back to the world. In your second life, you will be an instrument of peace and healing to my people. You will walk in a foreign land and you will speak in a foreign tongue. Everything is possible for you with my grace. After these words, the Blessed Mother told me, Do whatever He tells you. I will help you in your ministries. Words cannot express the beauty of heaven. There we find so much peace and happiness which exceed a million times our imagination. Our Lord is far more beautiful than any image can convey. His face is radiant and luminous and more beautiful than a thousand rising suns. The pictures we see in the world are only a shadow of His magnificence. The Blessed Mother was next to Jesus. She was so beautiful and radiant. None of the images we see in this world can compare with her real beauty. Heaven is our real home. We are all created to reach heaven and enjoy God forever. Then I came back to the world with my angel. While my body was at the hospital, 
The doctor completed all examinations and I was pronounced dead. The cause of death was bleeding. My family was notified and since they were far away, the hospital staff decided to move my dead body to the morgue because the hospital did not, did not have air conditioners they were concerned that the body would decompose quickly as they were moving my dead body to the morgue my soul came back to the body i felt an excruciating pain because of so many wounds and broken bones i began to scream and then the people came frightened and ran away screaming one of them approached the doctor and said, The dead body is screaming. The doctor came to examine the body and found that I was alive. So he said, Father is alive. It is a miracle. Take him back to the hospital. Now back at the hospital, they gave me a blood transfusions and I was taken to surgery to repair the broken bones. They work on my lower jaw, ribs, pelvic bone, wrist, and right leg. After two months, I was released from the hospital, but my orthopedic doctor said that I would never walk again. I then said to him, the Lord who gave me my life back and sent me back to the world will heal me. Once at home, we were all praying for a miracle, still after a month. And with the cast removed, I was not able to move. But one day while praying, I felt an extraordinary pain in my pelvic area. After a short while, the pain disappeared completely and I heard a voice saying, You are healed, get up and walk. I felt the peace and healing power on my body. I immediately got up and walked. I praise and thank God for the miracle. I reached my doctor with the news of my healing and he was amazed. He said, Your God is the true God. I must follow your God. The doctor was Hindu and he asked me to teach him about our church. After studying the faith, I baptized him and he became Catholic. Following the message from my guardian angel, I came to the United States on November 10, 1986 as a missionary priest. I am currently the parish priest at St. Catherine of Siena Parish in Orange Park, Florida by Father Jose Maniangat. I'm sure na sobra ka na bless sa narinig mong story ni Father Jose Maniangat. Alam nyo ako, nung uh, nabasa ko yan, actually, nung nalaman ko yung story na yan ni Father, ay sobra ako na-bless at uh, naging testimony niya. Kitang-kita natin na uh, walang bias dito sa sinabi niya. Ay naging transparent din siya sa mga nakita niya. Na meron siya mga nakita na kakilala niya. Hindi raw siya pinayagan na sabihin uh, kung sino yung mga yon anong pangalan nito. Pero uh, yung bata, di ba, na nakapunta raw ng hell ay nakita si Pope John Paul II. <laughs> Imagine that. Pero si Father Jose, uh, he was forbid to tell those people na nakita niya sa, sa hell. Pero yun nga, sabi niya doon na may nakita siyang priest and bishop. Sadly, di ba? Kasi ganoon naman talaga na there are... Uh, black sheep even sa Catholic Church. Okay? Kaya nga yung uh, mga bumabatikus dyan sa Katoliko na nilalahat nila ang simbahang Katoliko na meron da- yung mga pari daw noon nung panahon nung pananakop ng Kastila dito sa Pilipinas yung mga ng uh, korap na pari, yung mga ng re-rape diba? yung mga abusadong pari noon nung kapanahonan ni Rizal nung sinakop tayo ng uh, uh, Spaniard. ba? Yun yung nakikita ko mga keyboard warrior eh, dito sa aking blog pag nagko-comment. Nilalahat nila na parang ito ba yung gospel truth ng Catholic Church yung kasama na nangyari noon. Which is, hindi. Sobrang mali ba? Kasi, 
hindi hindi natin makokontrol lahat eh. Kahit ng mga early church, mga early Christian noon, meron pa rin talagang mga bulok. Meron talagang mga bulok na polis, may mga bulok na politician, even sa mga pastor. Meron din naman mga masasamang pastor na iba yung motibo. Kaya hindi natin pwedeng ilahat to sa simbahang katoliko. So, nakita natin na meron nga nakita si Father Jose Maniang at ang mga pare and even bishop na napunta sa hell. Pero lagi natin tatandaan that God is a God of many chances. Sabi niya doon na kung ito raw ay nagrepent bago sila mamatay, ay buka napunta sila sa purgatory. Or even, uh, hindi na sila duman ng purgatory, mapipurify sila dito in their suffering. Kaya nga ba diba, pag may sakit sa relatives mo, or sa mahal mo sa buhay, yung iba ang ginagawa, parang tatawag lang ng pare pag agaw buhay na. Which is mali. Dapat, guys, na habang may sakit pa yan, kunyari, kakumpisa lang ng sakit niya, ay tumawag na tayo kagad ng pare. Ipa-anoint na natin kagad. Yung anointing kasi ng holy oil, hindi lang to sa nag-aagaw buhay. Ito ay para sa mga may sakit at para mabigyan ka ng Uh, sacraments, okay? Makapag-confess at makabigyan ka ng Holy Communion. Kasi kailangan niya ng kaluluwa mo. Okay? Hindi lang yan para sa nag-aagaw buhay. Kaya nga ito yung maganda sa pagiging katoliko. Na meron tayong sacrament of confession, pwede tayong lumapit sa mercy at pagmamahal ng Diyos. At patatawarin tayo ni Lord. Sa purgatory din, di ba, na palagi natin ipagdasal yung mga kaluluwa doon. Relatives mo or mga kamag-anak mo, mga kaibigan mo, na nasa purgatory pa rin ngayon. Maring wala nagdadasal para sa kanila at for the longest time, nandun sila. Nandun pa rin sila. Buka this time, kaya mo napapanood tong vlog na to para sabihin sa'yo na kailangan mo silang ipagdasal. Okay? Pagdasal mo sila, lalo na ipagdasal mo sila tuwing nagdi-divine mercy chaplet ka dahil very powerful prayers yan sa mga souls in purgatory. Ipagdadasal ka din nila bilang uh, pagtanaw nila ng utang na loob sa'yo. Abang nasa purgatory sila, ipinagdadasal ka nila. At lalo na pag graduate na sila, tapunta na sila ng langit. Mas powerful ang mga prayers nila. Kaya nga, natatawa na lang ako pag may nagko-comment sa, sa vlog ko na kalukuan daw na si Mama Mary daw ay pinagdadasal tayo. Kasi patay na raw si Mama Mary. So, di ba, parang, hello, nasa ng common sense doon? Di ba, imagine mo, papayag ba si Jesus na hindi mapupunta si Mama Mary sa langit at si St. Joseph? Sila ay naging earthly father and mother ni Jesus dito. Tapos wala sa langit si Mama Mary at si Joseph. Patay na raw si Mama Mary. Grabe yung uh, yung conviction nila eh. Basta katoliko, basta sa katoliko, di ba talaga yung conviction nila, mali ang turo ng katoliko. Ganun sila na brainwash ng kanilang mga church leader. The Catholic Church will remain on the truth. At patuloy itong maninindigan until up to this day. Yung pinangako ni Jesus kay Peter nung binigay niya yung suse kay Peter para itayo ang simbahang katoliko na even the gates of hell cannot prevail this church. Patuloy tayong maging faithful sa Diyos na sa dami-dami ng bumabatikos at ng babash sa simbahang katoliko remain to be a Catholic. Keep the faith because God is faithful. Kasi itong uh, testimony ni Father Jose ay nakaka-inspire pa- para sa ating mga Katoliko na patuloy nating palaguin yung relasyon natin sa Diyos. Patuloy nating um, kilalanin ang Diyos araw-araw. Through the help of Mama Mary, through the intercession of our Blessed Mother, And St. Joseph ay ito yung tumutulong sa atin na mas mapalapit tayo kay Jesus through their prayers, through their intercession. Kaya mga faith always remain in a state of grace by receiving the sacrament. Lalo na ngayong pandemic na sobrang maraming tao ang nadedepress, na nawawalan na ng pag-asa, ang hopeless. Alam nyo itong mga sacrament ng simbahang katoliko like sacrament of confession and the sacrament of the Holy Eucharist 
Ito yung nagbibigay sa atin ng lakas. Ito yung magsusustain sa atin, sa ating kaluluwa, para kumapit tayo sa Diyos. This sacrament will give us the grace that we need. Ito yung nagiging daluyan ng grasya ni Jesus eh. So that when God will call us home, di ba? We are in a state of grace. Doon natin marireceive ang promise ng Diyos para sa atin. I hope na na-bless kayo at na-inspire kayo dito sa naging story ni Father Jose Maniangat. And make sure na i-share mo to sa mga friends and relatives mo. Okay, so again, my name is Adrian Milag. I'm praying for you always. God bless you more abundantly. Mga ka maraming 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 salamat sa inyong solid support sa ating mga merchandise item. At gusto ko rin pasalamatan ang mga taong bumili at nagpadala ng kanilang litrato suot ang ating mga merchandise item. I am proud Catholic, Katoliko ako. Hello mga ka Paano ka nga ba makaka-order sa ating merchandise store? Okay, so dito sa ating website, makikita mo yung mga available na merchandise item natin like t-shirts, long sleeves, hoodies, face mask, mugs. So kunyari, t-shirts ang bibili mo. Ito ang ating bestseller na Katoliko ako shirt. So i-click mo lang siya. So, pagka-click mo, mamimili ka kung anong color. Kung black ba, or yung violet. Kunyari, itong black ang napili mo. Mamili ka lang kung anong material, kung dry fit or poly blend. Kung nakapili ka na, ipili mo naman kung anong size. Importante kung male or female ka para alam nung gagawa ng t-shirt kung ano yung mas magiging fit para sa'yo. I-click mo lang add to cart and then proceed to check out kung wala ka ng iba pang bibilin. Dito naman, lalagay mo kung taga Pilipinas ka ba or taga USA ka. Kasi dito sa Merchiful ay nagdi-deliver din sila sa USA. Kung hindi ka taga USA ay meron din tayong ibang international store na pwedeng mag-deliver sa buong mundo. Kunyari, taga Philippines ka and then pili mo lang kung anong province. Lagay ko Cavite and yung postal code. Calculate shipping. Usually sa NCR is 120 pesos sa ating shipping fee. And then after that is proceed to check out. So, mapupunta ka naman dito. So, kung new customers ka, ay kailangan mo mag-create ng account dito sa Merchiful para hindi ka na ulit mag-fill up ng form. So, mag-create ka lang ng account, i-click mo lang yan. So, lagay mo lang yung first name, last name, at ang iyong email address. And yung password na gagamitin mo. Click mo yung create, click mo lang yung submit. Ayan, then mag-sign in ka na. So, nakagawa ka na ng account, so i-click mo lang to dito sa taas. And then, go to check out. So, dito ay ififill upan mo yung mga necessary information na kailangan. Click mo lang yung continue shipping. Mapupunta ka na dito sa ating payment option. So, dito sa ating payment option, pwedeng credit card or debit card, GCash or COD. Ayan, then complete order. Okay, so paano ka nga ba makakapunta dito sa ating merchandise store? Dito sa baba ng video na to, ilalagay ko yung link kung saan ka pwedeng mag-order ng ating mga merchandise item. Again, mga ka thank you so much for supporting my merchandise item. God bless you more abundantly. So that's it. Thank you for watching this video. I hope na na-bless at inspire ka dito sa aking vlog. Make sure na i-like mo at mag-comment ka sa baba ng video na to at mag-subscribe ka sa aking YouTube channel para lagi ka updated sa mga bagong vlog na gagawin ko. At huwag mo din kakalimutan na i-like ang aking page. So this been Adrian Milag encouraging you to live your life to the fullest. God bless you more abundantly.